All right, now that was pretty dang cool. All right, let's pop into this. All right, hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Icarus. Now, this is a game that I've got. I, I bought it right when it first came out to Early Access. It's now out of Early Access, plus also they launched an expansion. I'm not sure if I'm gonna jump into the expansion. Honestly, I played very little of this game, but I've had it ever since it very first came out. So yeah, all right, but hey, uh, let's pop in. I do have a character, but let's, you know, let's create a new character. That's an old character, so let's see. Uh, let's spend a couple moments getting this up and going, and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, I would just like to point out there, this thing is teasing me. All right, let's see. Um, this thing is, uh, it says green. That's blue, all right? It says green. That's blue. I mean, there's a green, like, neck piece and belt, but come on, all right? Now, let's just go with this. <laughs> or maybe some earthy toads. <sighs> okay. Um, let's see. Uh, head. Honestly, I don't think it really matters. I mean, because you're wearing a spacesuit the entire time, right? Okay. Uh, so, character creation is not their best thing. All right. Let's see. Uh, eyes. Cool. Green. Very green. Wow. Okay, uh, skin tone, sure, a little bit darker. Ah, there we go. Decal logo. All right. And the old flinger is no more because that was a very old flinger. So let's go like this. Bam, confirm character and we're off. All right, so uh, now there's a uh, new I don't have a resume because I deleted my old one. Uh, let's see. Loadout. Uh, workshop. Okay, so now how this game plays, it plays in several different ways, actually. There's different ways that you can do it, from my understanding. And please correct me in the comments if I get this wrong, because I'm not sure I'm going to get it right. Okay, so you can play it as a survival game where you just jump down, you make a living out of yourself, you survive, you do everything like that, or... You can play it as a, where you jump down, you survive, you do a bunch of story missions, you grab a bunch of stuff, you go back up to the um, orbital that's up around the planet, and then you use that to gradually upgrade your stuff. And then each time you do that, you get you unlock certain things that you can uh, uh, take back up with you, and then you can bring back down into a new area if you want to like recreate your base. So, well, you can go through and you can survive. You can create a really cool base, a really cool area. But if you get tired of that area, you can just leave it and then go up and then uh, take a bunch of the stuff that you get and then release down to another area. I'm not sure what happens to your previous stuff. I think it may uh, disappear. I don't know. Once again, this is another thing that uh, I'll have to get corrected down in the comments. And then also they have different storied quests and all sorts of cool stuff like that. Yeah, plus also you can play this on servers, which is, to me, that is just awesome. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's uh, And then also here's many, many, many talent points. Uh, adventure, habitat, cap, uh, there, bam. All right, apparently we get points. All right, return. Okay, so, uh, and then there's also the tech tree, which to me is pretty dang awesome as well. All right, uh, let's see. This requires I am at zero level, so uh, these are just the little basic bits and bobs that you start out with. Honestly, it looks really cool. All right, so uh, new... All right, the release of Icarus New Frontiers brings with it changes around the various diff different game modes. For the first time, our new map Prometheus allows players to engage with the story in an entirely in its entirety through the open world game mode. Oh, that's kind of cool. Via new operations, open world it is a persistent survival experience with no time restrictions and the ability to engage in minor dynamic uh, SMPL3 missions. The missions game mode is available for those wanting to engage in a major missions for all three of our existing maps that's cool missions have a finite amount of time allowed on planet missions also allow players to mine for rare exotics used in crafting unique and powerful gear outposts are persistent worlds 
on a smaller scale without mission content or exotics where players can focus on building. Yeah, the outpost, this right here is how they've, they've got a bunch of really cheap DLC. Uh, it's like four bucks for the DLCs that allow you to just play on your own little map and then you can build all sorts of stuff. It's cool. It's like the ultimate survival experience just in those little tiny little bits. It's pretty cool. All right, so uh, I think I want to do open world. We might as well, right? Okay, so we've got Olympus. This is the beginning one. Styx, this is the mid one. And then Prometheus, which is the new expansion. This right here is the three skulls. So I think I want to start out on this one. And eventually, maybe we can start out doing a few other different ones. Open world list. Nah, create new open world. All right. Uh, enter prospect name. Uh, Foo's World, only spelled with an E. Foo's World, because, yeah, might as well, right? Okay, so, claim prospect. There we go. All right, and then this right here is what I mean by the items in the drop. So, uh, this right here, uh, this is my suit. I have nothing here. I have no money for insurance, but <laughs> let's confirm the loadout of nothing. All right, so, and then we get to pick where we want to uh, spawn. There's five different areas, right up here, right up here, right up here, right up here, and then down here. Honestly, I mean, this right here seems kind of cool, but it, it's in between the crags. This right here, actually, honestly, I think this right here sounds the best. Riverlands. All right, it's comfortable. Um... They have a high source of meat, uh, medium uh, amount of water, medium amount of O2, because we're we got a spacesuit. Uh, abundant trees, high abundant rocks. All right, this is abundant ores or no medium ores, uh, medium passive creatures. So while there's a high amount of meat and food, uh, only half of them are <laughs> passive. All right. Uh, how abundant aggressive creatures are within the drop. Oh, so that's high right there. So we've got a lot of them. All right, what about this one? This is hot, low, 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 medium. Okay, so there's less aggressive stuff, but <laughs> it's a little bit harsher. You know, let's go here. If we die, we die, right? Okay, and then you could also, yeah. And then also by doing this, you can have, you know, different... You know, you can invite your friends to come play with you just through Steam or also I believe you can have servers on this. It's pretty dang cool. All right, so let's pop in. Do the whole loading thing as we watch the revolver revolve. Preparing geometry. Thank you. I like it when people prepare my geometry. <laughs> oh no, what's going on? Yeah, someone should probably secure that. Oh, hey, we're in the atmosphere. This is kind of cool. We're dropping uh, out of the space station right now. Hello. Ah, all right. Hey, my keybind saved. All right. I have no idea what my keybinds are, but you know what? I'll have keybinds for something. All right. Oh, that's punch. Oh, punch a tree. Hello. All right, let's start off by picking up. Hello. All right, let's pick up some sticks. I've played survival games before. Get some, what's that? Wild berries. Okay, we'll probably be needing some of those. Okay. And the graphics in this game are absolutely just phenomenal. I mean, they're pretty good. I'm hearing a bunch of stuff in the distance. Now, let's see. Sticks, 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 stone. Stone, stick. Yeah, we totally got this. All right, let's see. Let's, do we have any, anything that we can craft yet? 
I'm hearing a bunch of stuff in the distance, and it's giving me the willies. See what I mean? All right, so uh, let's see. Crafting. Craft. I'm missing on this. Missing stone on that. All right, so we've got this right here. That is a hatchet that goes to four. Let's get some more of these stones. Hello, a kind of squash. We got a kind of squash, pumpkin squash. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, dude. All right, you're giving me the heebie-jeebies. All right, so inventory, we've got squash. 20 food when consumed, raw food, slight health boost. Uh, consumes one space in stomach. Oh, oh, okay, so, and then also berries. Hey, we got berries. Consume one of those. What did that give us? Boost stamina. All right, cool. All right, so this. Grab that. Also, we can get wood piles, stone piles, ice water. Ooh. Uh, berry and seed bar. Hello. All right, so uh, let's see. All right, so talent tree. This right here. We're trying to go down... That's a fire whacker. That's for whacking our fire. I'm not sure how much I like to whack my fire, but apparently we're going to be doing it. All right, we also need to get this stuff unlocked. We're still level one. Uh, so stone pile, wood pile. Let's just collect a bunch of stuff. Uh, inventory, talents. All right, so we have zero points available. But there, this this tree there is huge for the amount of customization that you can do. So I look forward to getting into that. Also, they're solo. Uh, so if you're playing by yourself... You can just click this, and then um, apparently I think you get points earlier or something like that. It's just certain skills that you can only get when you're solo, which kind of condense different skills or they're a little bit more uh, powerful, which to me is honestly pretty dang cool. All right, let's get some more of that. We need some more seeds as well. I want to get some more. Hello. It's a shamwa. Okay. All right, I want to get some more of these pumpkins as well. All right, so we've got our thingamabobber and then our other thingamabobber. One's for jabbing, the other's for slashing. All right, there we go. Start by getting a whole bunch of this stuff. Also, this does have a very active weather system. Was that a watermelon? Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, what is this? Hello, what are you? Deep mining ore deposit. Copper. Can we actually... Drilled with deep mining equipment. Okay, so we need to work our way towards getting deep mining equipment. That sounds pretty kooky. Alright, this is actually a good spot already. We've got a lake right down there. We've got a, a, a river. Okay, never mind. It's not a it's not a lake, it's a river for riverside view. What are you? And uh, these blue rocks down there, uh, from what I remember, those that's where you mine your oxygen. Because, like I said, you are in an oxygen suit. So you actually have O2, which is draining, food, and water. which is So there's like three different things that you need to uh, pay attention to. So we need to make sure we're keeping an eye on that. Food, water, and O2. All right, let's mine some of this O2 just where you have it in the inventory. And the way things are destroyed in this, they're kind, they're slightly voxel based, so it's kind of cool. All right. There we go. There's a level up. Oh, my stamina! Don't attack me while my stamina is down, please. That would be an absolute uh, 
noob survivor's mistake, and I would not, I'm not sure how I'd be able to handle that. What is this? Yeast! <laughs> well, that could be good or bad. All just depends on your situation, right? Alright, so let's get back up here. This seems to be the safer place. What is this rock? Are you just a rock? You are. You're just a rock that's a rock. No pretending there. Thank you. Alright, so... Alright, let's see. Uh, so we... Ha okay, that is just... That's carrot. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah! Alright, so, uh, we've got, uh, talents. Alright, and so we're in solo talents. That's... Okay, that's active. Okay, wait, how do you active... Okay, how do you activate the solo? I'll figure that one out. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's get a campfire. Uh, how many points do we have? We have three points. I probably should have checked that first before I started just randomly picking things. Um, let's see. Let's get a spear. And then this right here is for skinning. 100% yield on skinning. Okay. This is for building. This is for stabbing. Okay, so let's start stabbing things first. And then we can skin them. And then we can cook them. So we're working on things to do other things. Also, we're probably going to need that as well. All right. So talents. Uh, let's see. Increase wood from felling. I need to figure this out. Okay. So I looked it up because I was I, I was wondering how to do that because it was really mind-boggling. But apparently, you get one solo point that you can uh, attribute for every two levels. And there's a certain amount of points uh, that you can get to, and half of them can be solo points. So while you're playing solo, you can use those talent trees, but while you're playing with other, with your friends, you can only use these, which is kind of cool, actually. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, wood yield, skilled picker, uh, rock star. Okay, I like the name of that. I would, let's see. Uh, dense packing, find butcher, chase him down. Swift Stalker, Bone Collector, Naturally Preserved, shows food decay in your inventory. Oh, slows it. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we're probably going to need this one and this one. Work on that as well. Adventure, Storm Chaser, Movement Speed. That's a good plus. Let's see, what is this? Fishing. Fishing, and by the way, fishing is in the game too. Habitation. Reduces durability loss on hits. How much durability have I taken from? Oh, that's quite a bit actually. Discount wood. Ready axe heads and then combat. Spears, arrows. How do we get arrow? Where's the tech tree? All right, arrows. There you are. Ha 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 yeah. All right, so yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get that. Okay. Um, bed roll, this is where you sleep. Where is building? All right, here's building. Although I don't want thatch, I want wood. All right, so we're gonna have to work our way down towards that. All right, so let's get some more stuff going. Oh, let's, I need to build a... And our water's already going down, so we're gonna have to go down and get that. Um, let's see. I'm gonna save my points until I know exactly what I want. All right, wooden spear, crap that. Do they break? All right, so spear, seven. Is this berry and seed bar 75 stamina minus 10 consumed 50 food oh yeah let's do that 
Alright, uh, wood javelin. Stone throwing knife. How much does the spear actually stab? Oh, spear stabs for a lot. Wow, that's kind of cool, actually. Let's craft a couple of those. Right, so that goes there. This goes there. All right, so we've got... We're all geared up. All right, let's go down and let's go see if we can actually go get something. Oh, my spear. Oh, man. Oh, and also, I probably should have checked. What do we need for a campfire? Just more stone. Okay, we'll get that along the way. Hello? Oh, no. Not weather event incoming. Mistakes could be pretty rough. There's more oxide. How's our oxygen doing? Fine. Oh, there's a wolf. Hi, Mr. Wolf. Level 68? that back. Thank you. Alright, so, uh, nine. Ew. Let's take all that. Can we hack up your bones? Yes. Okay, so we did that. And it's raining. Pretty tremendous drop off. Alright, can we get that back? Thank you. What about this one? Eh. Oh, pronghorn. Now let's get a drink and get out of here. Desert water, water's fine. Okay, so storm exposure. Rain. Oh, and they also have a three-day forecast. I didn't even realize that. All right, that's awesome. What are you? Coffee? Oh, we have coffee, my friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, what are you? I don't know, but I want you in my life. Sulfur. That's a level up. Let's see. Can we actually build a small little shelter? And I have a feeling we can't hide from the thing behind that. So, let's see. Um, where's my granola bar? You know, I'll just eat a watermelon. All right, so food is going up. Uh, tech tree, can we? Yes, there we go. All right, so we've got wood. Uh, let's build the hammer. We already know the hammer. So crafting, hammer, craft. What does it take to build that? We need more wood. Hello! Whoa, dude! The trees are coming down on me? First weather event that when I'm here, the trees come down on me. How did the trees, ex how did they survive without, you know, my gosh. Okay, so we're taking damage. Can we go inside of our thing?
That's a mighty big duck over there. Can we go inside of this? No, we cannot. I realize I'm dying, but I want to go get these trees down here that already fell. What the hell was that? What a buffalo! Alright, storm's going away. Okay. Right, but I don't want to go through that situation again where we're struggling. <laughs> So, right, let's get all this. All right, and you get a lot of wood. Okay, so lumber gathering. Hey, we collected 200. Hey, we're doing things. Nice. And if we found coffee up top, then or down below, then I definitely want to be building right, right here, I think. All right, let's see. Right here on the edge, at least to start. All right, let's see. Um, so crafting some more uh, wood. One, two. And then the door. The floor. And I believe that you can Let's see. So you're just as creepy as you were before. All right, huh? Calm down. We'll get to you. Oh, and we did get our first solo point. Okay, so three. Oh man. All right. Hello. I broke it, didn't I? Is that under? Oh, it's because my controller's plugged in. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see. R. Oh, it's a hatch. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, so there we go. All right, now three. Oops, wrong button. All right, so five. So we're building ourselves a little outhouse in the woods that is apparently going to slide off the slope. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. All right. And zero. Yeah. Look at us. We have outhouse. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's close it up. Uh, but yeah, I didn't want to build a... Uh, oh, thatch. Because thatch in certain storms, it will act literally fall apart. So yeah. Uh, matter of fact, wood will as well. All right, so we've got our first protection from the storm. Uh, we're going to need to, let's see, let's eat some of this oxygen rock. Uh, let's see, there you are. Oxide, soup stack, all the way up. It leaves us with six. And then also we need to start getting some more uh, storage. 
A small wooden crate, definitely. Oh, arrow, thank you. That's pretty cool. All right, and then also talents. I want to see what first solo talent we can get. Uh, base stamina, nice. These are overpowered ones, by the way. Uh, movement speed, base health, and a general increase to melee damage. Oh, that's nice. Um, I think I want movement speed to start. And then from here, we'll go... Uh, we have three points. I may have to look over these a little bit more before I um, commit. But you can respec your points, so yeah. All right, but I do think that's going to be where I um, end this video. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I mean, honestly... It's a beautiful game, and it looks like we could actually do a pretty cool uh, either series or mini series on it. But yeah, hey, but uh, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to end it. So hey, if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flickr Foo, and take it easy, everybody.